If your computer is running Windows 10 and can't upgrade to Windows 11, it is not waste. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm a right to repair advocate, which means I think you should be able to fix your stuff. And for the last couple years, right to repair has delivered some important wins. Uh, but it appears that despite groups from all over the world speaking out, and tens of thousands of people taking action and hundreds of businesses and elected officials calling for relief, Microsoft is going to cut off support for Windows 10. As I outlined in my last video, Microsoft cutting off Windows 10 is a massive problem. My organization, PERG, Public Interest Research Group, did an estimate as part of our Electronic Waste Graveyard Report and found that this abrupt end of support could spell 1.6 billion pounds of e-waste in one fell swoop. That's because some 400 million computers currently running Windows 10 can't upgrade to Windows 11. Simultaneously, it will create a massive cybersecurity risk, and as we laid out in a recent blog post, it makes the digital divide harder to bridge. Frankly, I was hopeful Microsoft would do the right thing and extend support while there are so many devices out there running Windows 10 that can't upgrade. They didn't. And while we're frustrated and frankly angry, we aren't exactly surprised. If your computer is running Windows 10 and can't upgrade to Windows 11, it is not waste. There's a lot of good options, which my colleague Julius lays out in a recent blog post, which I want to share with you. Here's the breakdown of what you should figure out. Number one, are you sure you can't upgrade to Windows 11? Let me be clear. You want ongoing security support. If you want to remain in the Windows environment, you can assess your computer's compatibility for Windows 11 by downloading and running Microsoft's PC Health Check app. If you can update automatically, back up your files and give it a shot. Though Microsoft has removed the instructions from their website, actually there's many computers which can upgrade to Windows 11 even if they don't meet their requirements, as long as they're made past 2019. But for most people, you'll need some help to do it, and it might also have technical issues. If your computer can't upgrade, you also have other options. Don't store it in a dusty corner, don't throw it away. Option two, install another operating system. Ubuntu Linux and Linux Mint are free open source operating systems that are compatible with basically every Windows 10 PC, and the latest versions will receive free ongoing security updates for at least another four years. I tend to think Mint is the best option for people in this scenario. If you mainly use your computer for web browsing, Google Chrome's OS Flex is free, it's secure, and it's pretty easy to use. I'll link instructions for both below, but you can also get help if you don't feel comfortable from a local repair shop or a host of free community events. More on that in a second. You know, it's frustrating to have your computer stop working, whether that's because of the software or because the hardware is too difficult to fix or upgrade. So every year, PERG releases a Failing the Fix scorecard that helps you choose repairable laptops that support your right to repair. Refurbished computers are a sustainable and affordable way to make a purchase better for the environment and usually much more affordable, and they come with competitive warranties and a lot of support. We have an updated guide uh, that you can use to buy refurbished technology, which I'll also link. Finally. If you're getting rid of that old computer, sell it or donate it to a good cause. Make sure you wipe your computer, of course, and always, before getting rid of it. But selling it, either on a service like eBay or Gazelle or Backmarket, means that there's a really good chance that the person who's paying money for it is going to find a use for it. There are many groups that take old computers and freshen them up for people who might not otherwise be able to get access to that technology. A computer can mean access to jobs or other vital services. Digitunity.org is a large coalition of these charitable groups. Check them out and consider donating to them. Finally, on October 18th, it's International Repair Day, and there will be events around the globe that will help rescue the computers that Microsoft is abandoning, keeping them going. My team is working on events in Madison, New York, Worcester, Chicago, Boston, and the huge coalition of repair groups around the world has events basically everywhere. Check out the International Repair Day event page to find out more. Here's the thing that I want to communicate. We don't have to accept it when companies tell us to upgrade. You know, it's our stuff. We can find another way. So much in our society seems to be pushing us to accept 
our own demise because that's the rules and that's what's most convenient. Well, I reject that. I'd like to think that this is a moment when we pushed back. I think that there was a time when people weren't aware of the problem that we face when companies are using software to force us to upgrade or charge us extra monthly or break otherwise working tech. And I'm starting to think that this might be an opportunity to raise the alarm. We have created a legitimate movement through the right to repair that can challenge companies when they do things that are so irresponsible. People want good stuff that lasts and manufacturers can convince themselves that building things this way isn't the path to riches. And so we have to convince them that that's the only path we will tolerate. This is what's at the heart of the right to repair and why we aren't giving up on that ever.